signing off there in 2K land, man. The positivity is really rubbing off on everybody, man, because we got patch notes. Not only did we get the patch, but we also got the patch notes. But look, I know that y'all, a lot of y'all are new, and a lot of y'all don't know what we do here. So let me tell y'all that before we get started. Before we get started, make sure you like the video because liking the video helps you do two things. You're going to be entered to win an Xbox or a PlayStation 5 at the end of the month. And also, you'll be entered at the end of the week to win $50 in Cash App. It could be $50 uh, in VC. Or it could be the NBA 2K23, the extra regular ass edition. I'm going to buy that for y'all if you don't have it. That's number one. And then number two, look, we're going to try to double to nothing, man. I asked for a 1,000 likes yesterday. We were going, we was trying to do a flash sale. Nobody didn't want to do it. We did not make the goal today. If we can get... 1500 likes because we already know that we know that these the the the, the, the videos go crazy 1500 likes and we're gonna give away the um the the $50 today we'll do a $50 giveaway today all you gotta do is comment on the you ain't gotta be a sub or nothing man all you gotta do is comment on the video what what's that gonna comment what's the word comment on the video expeditiously and you will be entered to win a $50 in Cash App or $50 in uh, VC, $50 in whatever today, man. We do this every Friday, but this is like a flash sale. We're going to try to do it today. 1,500 likes, man. That's all it is. I should double to nothing and make it be 2,000, but if we get 1,500 and then that mixes with the 500 that we got yesterday, that'll be 2,000, won't it? See, that's who else doing it like your boy, man. That's that math math. Thing. But anyway, what I wanted to show y'all right here was even though we did get the patch, we did the one thing that I know and I was able to confirm is not fixed. Uh, this thing is not fixed. When you quit the game, your settings still reset. So that's one of those things where it's just it's just there. It's just gonna be there, and um, it just is what it is, man. But we're just gonna go through these patch notes real quick, and uh, we're just gonna we, you know just see how it goes, man. So look, NBA 2K23 patch notes next gen. It just says preparation for the NBA 2K23 uh, season two launch on Friday, October 21st at 8 a.m. You know, 11, uh, Pacific time, so 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, they did the Bill Russell, uh, Bill Russell six logo has been added to the floor, uh, the court floor for all 30 NBA teams, and uh, the patch has been added to the uniforms for all 30 NBA teams. The ability to quick toggle between players on the edit player menu has been restored. Players assigned. The teams from a creator player pool will no longer retain duplicate retire a uh, duplicate or retired numbers. Uh, occasional disconnect that could uh, that could occur in play. What in play with friends? Quick play. People play quick play. I know that's the most played game mode. Play 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 with game <laughs> quick play during initial matchmaking or when using uh, custom rosters has been resolved and the crypto arena name has been added to the jumbotron for the LA Lakers and the uh, LA Sparks and the LA Clippers. So that's cool. They play in the crypto arena. We don't care about that. This is what we talking about gameplay. Fix the problem with certain stand uh, standing layups that would cause them to fade away from the rim instead of uh, towards it. So that's 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 all. That's a big W. Address an issue where the user could mo momentarily lose control while defensive shading. I noticed that because I play defense. Sometimes you're trying to stand there in defensive shading and your guy just, he'll just, he'll be jiggling like you can't, you can't stand where you want to stand is more, is the best way to do it. Y'all see right here, like I, I went out, came back in and, and it's not fixed. So, you know, that's cool. The Dream Shake badge will now lessen the penalty when chaining multiple fakes together. So, hey, you got Dream Shake, uh, you, you, and you want to pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. Hey, it's return of pump fakes. Post Drew, Post Drew is back, ladies and gentlemen. The run gameplay series will now work correctly. I mean, uh, yeah, series will now work correctly using the on the fly coaching. Uh, certain post animations that were not playing as intended have now been properly enabled. So that's good. That's good. Shot face that could force the player to go out of bounds unintentionally will no longer do so. So that's that's dope. CPU players no longer no. <laughs> this was the most cheese in the game. This has been an issue for the last eight 2Ks. CPU players no longer uh, no longer using layup timing as they were unrealistically proficient at it. Meaning they never miss. You see, you see, you see CPUs sitting out there greening. I mean, they just greening everything. I can't leave you alone. They got me greening. Greening. <laughs> hey, but you know the CPU, it was doing this thing, man. Hey, drop a like for the uh, 
for the vocals right there, man. Uh, the, the free throw difficulty slider will now function correctly. So that's cool. Fix some, fix some problems with controllable rim hangs that was that were causing players to vault, <laughs> vault into the air, air unexpectedly. It really wasn't unexpectedly, man. People were vaulting because it was getting ready to do one of the spider rim hangs or whatever, and then that just glitched along with with that one, and it just did it just did what it did. Um, yeah, that was that was funny though. That was more funny than it was a problem. Air balls. Will, I don't know how I feel about this one, man. Air balls will no longer occur with shot timing is slightly early, slightly late, or better. I I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not. I hope that they don't. I hope I hope if the shot is challenged, then it then like like I understand it not being an air ball if you don't challenge the shot. But if you challenge the shot and it's a bad challenge and it's slightly early, slightly late, I don't want it to hit the rim. I want it to still be an air ball. They need to go out of bounds and it just need to be what it is. You understand what I'm saying? Because if they don't do it like that, then free boards is gonna be a thing again. And I think that the game was in a good place uh, without having free boards in the game. You take a, you take a dumb ass shot, then you shouldn't be able to get the board, especially if it's contested or something. I mean, that's just how it should be. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment. Shot timing will now work correctly for hook shots when playing online games. So, more or less, they got the hook shots back right. Uh, they had to hot fix those. Uh, Post Drew, he gonna test those out. We'll find out if it's the return of Post Drew. But like they said, you weren't able to contest them, so they had to hot fix them, and now they've completely uh, revamped them, and they got them all the way fixed, so that's cool. Uh, the, the frequency of contact dunks on lower difficulty levels has been increased. Good, I can catch some bodies in my career, because y'all know I play on extra Ricky. Y'all know what I play on. Uh, Made shots will now have more ball physics with the rim, uh, interactive with the rim, rather than always switching. That's cool. I mean, you see that a little bit, because sometimes you'll shoot a, shoot one that's an open, and it'll still go around in the rim, and but it's still a green, so it's going in. We know it's going in. I don't think that's a big deal right there. Uh, fixed players, fixed favorite players not showing up in the in many modes on the fly coaching. Uh, resolved a rare hang that could occur during certain inbounds plays. Various Michael Jordan signature animations have been added and uh, added new facial expressions uh, to several animations. So we got some new facial expressions, that's cool. What I wanna know about though is, um, are the shoes fixed? Somebody can somebody verify down in the comment section that the shoes are fixed, cause y'all know what I mean. It used to be where if you had on customs and I could see your customs, but now I can't see your customs now. Now only thing I can see is is I just see you with the 2K bobos like I know it, like I wear. And I'm the only one that get to wear them 2K bobos. I'm the only one that wear those. And everybody else, you know what I'm saying? It, it seems like people bite my style right now, man. So you know I don't like that. Uh, the city, many improvements for employment. In, performance and stability have been made to enhance the overall experience in the city. The court status overlay is now available when standing on the got next spot in the city. Okay, that's good because when you're on the got next spot, man, you be wanting to know what's going on. A reduced delay in exiting a court after winning a game in the city. Thank you, bro. How many times have we said this is our last one and you try to get off the court and then you can't get off the court and then it just pull you in and then now you got to play that game uh, or one of your homeboys get off the court but you didn't make it up, bro. That's that, that sickening, sickening. Or you be like, I'm not playing with these rounders no more. I'm up out of here. And then you can't get off because it's a big delay. So that's, 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 that's a W right there. Uh, the remaining player in head-to-head -head games will now be awarded the win in all other Play, if all of the players have left. Okay, that's that's dope. Um, I don't know if it's head to head, so I, I don't know if that if that counts with the 1v1 theater or whatever, man. I don't, I don't know. That'll be cool if we knew, but you know, um, it is what it is. But uh, let me see. Game play, games played in the theater will now properly count towards user skill level progression. That's good. So that's gonna count toward all your stuff. Various fixes and improvements have been made to private matchmaking and squads, including when entering the event center. That's dope. Several changes related to invites have been made to increase stability and better streamline the experience. That's, we'll see how that goes. Various updates have been made to, to games on, on district courts in the city to improve the experience and ensure intended progression. That's dope. Fixing it, fix an issue that, that could cause some weekly quests to expire early. I gotta get that quest wrinkled. I ain't gonna lie, man. I need that quest right there. Address various issues that that the with the stat overlays in pro in pro am games to improve their accuracy. Fix the rare issue that could cause players to be visible when entertaining Annie when in entering Annie invisible when entering Annie. 
I never saw that, but I always thought when you just walked in, everybody would just pop in or stuff like that. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't. I don't even go to stage though, so it is what it is. Resolved an issue with the adrenaline boost, occasionally displaying the incorrect number remaining. That's cool. Uh, resolved an issue that was causing the shot meter to be invisible when shooting in Brinkley's gym. Uh, okay, that's cool. And uh, individual tattoos can now be properly removed when there is more than one on a particular body part. So that's dope right there, man. I mean, that's stuff that we that that uh, we really, you know, it's there, but it, it, it is what it is. And then last but not least, my career quest and progression. This is the main thing that we hear. This is the meat and the potatoes of the whole thing. Multiple fixes and adjustments have been made to improve the overall ex uh, quest experience and ensure proper progression throughout the mode. I hope they fix the rec thing, man, because if they make us do that again and we grading people out and knocking people out and we're not getting the wins, that's that's tough, man. It's, it's tough. Core badge progression! Uh, uh, pro core badge progression speed has been slightly increased. Yes, we got that. Uh, fix an issue that was preventing certain tier three badges from being core. That's dope right there. That's a, Those two things in themselves are a W because, man, it took forever to get those core badges core. And like I said, I put on, I had claps on Hall of Fame and then I took it off Hall of Fame and put it on, and put it on gold core. And then I lost my core, but I had, luckily I had, um, glove on on gold or whatever because you can't progress the badge while you got it core so i put my glove on core and, and uh I'm, I'm good on that so we'll see how that goes uh let's see fix the rare issue that could occur i mean that could cause players certain equipped animations to reset the default okay so now you're so now your animations are not gonna be gone and stuff and i don't know how rare it was man that wasn't rare that happened a lot like you we were literally were checking our animations every game because of that uh several and uh, several changes have been made to improve the photo quest uh the photo quest particularly using ones using the tripod uh bass progression will now work correctly when playing games on the district courts in the city that's dope resolved an issue that was preventing certain users from continuing after playing one of the games uh at the dreamer park in the it's it's a cold world quest line so i think my guy my what's my dog name uh uh coyote had sent me that man like he was he was trying to play his next game but he can never play the next game and all he could do is just play parking stuff so he what he was trying to do he was trying to be able to um progress and he had the issue so he could never progress so hey coyote we did it baby we think we got it uh fix an issue <laughs> fix an issue with certain graves was certain uh coach graves quest were uh where he could, where he wouldn't be pre present in the locker room and the user would be unable to progress. I didn't have that one, but I know a lot of people did. Uh, so they're just saying Coach Graves wasn't in the locker room, so you wouldn't be able to progress the, uh, progress the mission, man. That's crazy. Made additional updates to the Palace Intrigue Quest to help users stuck on certain objectives. That's dope. Uh, resolved a rare issue that could, that could cause saves to be blocked on load queue, on the load queue to not be not being able to enter the arena ah that's cool i mean i guess i never i never saw that fix the rare issue that prevented certain npcs from being present when attempting to do selfie quests with them yeah i mean I, like i said a lot of this stuff i didn't run into but if you did that means you can't play the game because you can't play the, you can't play my career if you can't progress the quest so these are these are really uh detrimental uh let me see it said resolved an issue where users could get stuck with the inline skates equipment after a time trial, which could prevent them from completing quests requiring other vehicles. That is tough. Resolved an issue that could that could cause season specific stat quests to progress incorrectly. So maybe that's maybe that's what we're talking about with the whole thing where um with with the, with the wreck and all of that. Maybe that's maybe that's what that is. Uh, let's see to progress uh, incorrectly. Relax. Relax some requirements on the city stats quest so that they can be more easily completed uh, with any build type. I went, okay, so if they can do that, can they do that for the legend too? Like add some other stuff to make it add in. Maybe they can do that and they can do it retroactively. It ain't even gotta be retroactive if they can do it. If they can do that, hopefully, hopefully we, they can do the other thing, man. Address the issue with a handful of daily and weekly quests that could uh, cause them to not have a title description uh, in the display. So that's cool. Quests requiring personal brand increased in, in oh look. Quests requiring personal brand increases in non-NBA games will now be accurately tracked. That's dope. And last but not least, the rewards for the Chris Brinkley Quest are now correctly displayed. That's all we need, man. Look, a lot of that stuff, man, it is what it is. It's tough. 
um i guess we'll see how it plays out they didn't mention steals they didn't mention anything i'm gonna go to mike Wong on twitter real quick and uh we'll see if he said anything but i don't think he said anything about it man like i said all of this is a w it looks like they just took care of a lot of the stability issues and all of that good stuff that's all i really care about is the stability issues actually mike mike uh he he tweeted out about those so you know it is what it is uh so openness has a huge impact on the green window so somebody talked about this i guess we'll talk about that tomorrow um and all of that but the main thing is the patch notes we got patch notes we've been asking for them we've been we've been pining for them we've been saying we need these patch notes we want the patch notes and here we are we got them Govern yourselves accordingly, man. 2K is listening. And uh, like I said, hopefully they didn't touch the steals. But if they did, we're going to adapt. I don't even care about on-ball steals. But the double-team steals, when you dribble into dumb-ass traffic, I think you I think you got to get that rock up, man. That's just how I feel. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is this enough? And what else did you notice? And uh, like I said, also, comment expeditions now uh, down in the comment section, man. And you'll be entered to win a uh, $50 gift card. If we can get 1,500 likes, y'all can get that today. And, um, you know, so a $50 gift card today or Cash App or whatever. And at the end of the month, and the end of the week, you'll get the $50 too. You'll be entering it for that one. And then also, uh, at the end of the month, we'll be giving away a PlayStation or a PS5, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak.